Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with a new series for January 2023, New Year Old Stash. And I am trying to use up as much of my old stash that I can. And prior to 2021, my um, stash was very eclectic and not collections. It was just random um, paper pads, sticker sheets, things like that. So I'm sharing that, um, eight and a half by eight and a half. My, I think it's my, my memory keepers, um, scrapbook that I am using to create a eight and a half by eight and a half album for my mother for Christmas. Now I've recorded this in December for January because I wanted to do a old stash video in January because I um, had talked about um, creating with my paper pads and things of that nature um, to try and get some of my stash used up because I have a ton of loosey goosey stickers and sticker pads and sticker this that and the others loose papers um, the paper pads that are partially used some of them that aren't used barely at all and I've had them for a minute so I'm making this book for my mom and it's going to be a hint of a tough cookie for me because they're all pictures of my daddy. And um, so these are from 2013 when him and my mom went on an adventure out west. And except that one's from 2015. And um, he took all these random kissy pictures where he was kissing other uh, kissing things which is uber weird because it's not my dad he's an awkward kind of goofy guy but it's more like personal and nobody sees that except family and close friends so for him it was something completely out of character so I'm going to document these my mom ha I made my dad a book in 2015 for his birthday actually it was a calendar and my mom can't find it anymore she's mentioned it to me multiple times so I decided that I would create for Christmas this year or for 2022 I would make her a small book that she could keep next to her chair and look through whenever she needed a little giggle because lord knows these pictures make us laugh so I decided to make a mini kit and it's all older stash except for a couple things that are from this year. Um, this paper pad I think is from last year, maybe even the year before, but I think last year. Um, and then this We Are Memory Keepers. So it's Summer Road Trip by Recollection. Sorry, it was a paper pad I got. I feel like it's been a year. And then this jet set I got at Tuesday morning. Um, I'm not really sure how old it is, but it's one of those other things that I, I want to get used because there's really not a lot of paper left in it. A couple of sheets, but there's some stickers and stuff in here I want to use. There's like three papers in this local travel by Park Lane, and I'd love to get all of that used or at least most of it. And then I have this packet right here and this is travel scraps from where I've done a lot of travel layouts lately so I want to try and use some of that up this is not a stash bash where I'm planning on using everything in these piles but I'd like to use as much as I possibly can so these are some random stickers I know I'm going really really fast because I put this on like super speed but these are all just um, travel related and then I pulled in some things that were more specific um, like these right here are um about hamburgers because there's a picture in there of my dad with an in and out burger there's the sharks and cows and any fish anything that i felt was going to work you know kind of on the themey side of things and then i have um that elephant was like just a stencil um and then i've got some stuff from like dollar store joe lee's um i've got some uh, Sticko, some paper, um, paper studio. Um, I have these Prima, um, tickets. And then this, my mind's eye is such a neat little thing. That's pretty new. I got that from my embellishment kit from Peacecraft Love. It was one of those, um, boxes that she was selling. So I got that from there. So that is pretty recent, at least to me. I don't know how old it was. Um, you know, how long ago it was created, but it is new to me but most of the rest of the stuff is at least a year old and some of it is years old there's at least one thing in here that I use in this book from 2005 
and there are other things that I'm pretty sure are pretty close to that. That little black alpha lettering up there is for my title page that I'm going to create for the book. Um, I have 13 pictures that are kissy pictures and it's a 20 page book so I have an idea for how I'm going to finish this book up but um, I do want to make a title page so that will give me 14 pages so um, and then I'm going to hopefully bring in some flair from my advent calendar because like I said I'm doing this in December and I'm, I'm trying to open my advent calendars every day obviously you can tell what day I started this yes it was a Christmas present you all I know I procrastinate like nobody's business plus it's been a really busy December um so my goal is to use as much as I can of the papers and as much as I can of the embellishments I know I'm not bashing them so this is not like a normal kill a kit where I'm trying to use it all up um, I would love to use quite a bit of it and I will say that on some of these layouts it's pretty quick pretty full and some of them are super simple so here is the first um, thing that I'm going to do. So I created a title page um, and decided to call it the Kissing Chronicles Road Trip. And I wanted to go ahead and use this stencil so that I could put the letters down in order. Originally, I was going to weld them together in my Cricut and change my mind. So I decided actually what I did was I did weld them together and then something happened to my Cricut and it disappeared and I didn't want to do it all over again. So I decided I would use this technique that my friend Anne Marie taught me how to do and I would just use this now. Let me give you a little piece of advice. Be very careful with your glue because if you put too much glue down, it will seep onto what you're putting the letters into and that paper will stick and you don't want that. Obviously, you want to be able to pull this big paper off and have just your letters attached to the page behind you. So just be very cautious if you do this, but this technique really works and I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing because <laughs> that would be kind of boring. But this really worked for me and I enjoyed that. I did have to like do one little um, fixing thing, but here it is right here. Um, I just took it off very carefully and there they are in perfect straight order. And I really thought I'd put something else on this page, but I've decided against it. Um, I am fixing my, like I said, little boo-boo, a little piece of the H came off. So I just fixed that. So, um... I love this because it's got that road and so I'm going to put this in my book as my cover page. I do have to figure out what I'm going to do on the front of this album because it's got a little um, window and I don't know what to do with that. So here is my first layout with my pictures and I'm going to start with what I find I find later to be really the last picture or one of the last pictures because I thought I could kind of get an idea for the order. Why did I not cut all this out, you all? Good gravy, I'm so sorry. Okay, so this picture was taken at the Moonlight Barbecue, um, which is in Owensboro, Kentucky. And we are in Kentucky. The Moonlight is one of my dad's favorite places to go. Anytime we were in Owensboro or anywhere near Western Kentucky, we always went to the Moonlight Barbecue. Um, he loved that place. So... I thought that they probably went there on their way out of town. However, I was wrong. I found the pictures um, later and they were in order. Um, and this is actually on their way back home. But that's okay. I'm not really worried about it because there are other pictures that I could not tell you when they went. And there are a couple I have no idea where they are. And I really can't ask my mother for a couple of reasons. One, because it's her present. And if I ask her, she's going to be like, why are you asking me that? And two, she might not remember because my dad was the one with all of that kind of brain power. Um, he had a knack for remembering all the details. Uh, my mom is uber smart, um, but not the details are like his jam. And so um, I'm really good with places, dates, times, things like that. So luckily I got a little bit of that from him and my grandma, his mother. Um, but yeah, no, my mom would probably be like, um, I don't know now she may, and I could go in there and move these pages around while I give it to her if she wants them in order, but she's not going to care. 
Um, I did find out though, when I went into um, my pictures, I found out that the one with the cow that I will be documenting later down the road is um, actually two years later when my dad went to Canada and he wasn't even with my mom, I do not believe. So, hmm, interesting. <laughs> So, but these pictures are so special to me and my family. I love them. Like I said, it's kind of, it's pretty out of character for him. Um, my mom isn't even the kind of person who would be kissing some random this and that and the other. I believe the kissy pictures began with the buffalo, um, which was in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I've done some research, you all. I, my mom will be uber impressed with all the research that I did to try and figure out where as many of these things um, took place. So if you see something in one of these pictures and I say I don't know where it is, please let me know. <laughs> the likelihood of people who um, watch my videos knowing where certain things are is kind of slim but hey I am willing to to, to, to um, listen if you see a picture and say oh I know where that is <laughs> so anyway I do know for sure this is the moonlight barbecue because it says so and because I've been there plenty um, and there are a couple places that I know for sure, but other places, um, if I couldn't do the research, like there's one for Route 66, and if you try and find that online, yeah, there's a whole lot of some things that will come up for Route 66, and that's okay. And it does, I don't have to have that information. I just thought that, you know, the more I had, the more, um, you know, that my mom would enjoy that, because if she can't remember, then at least I would be able to tell her. So some of the research I did um, got me three or four, mm, maybe two or three of the places because some of them are pretty random and a couple of them are family. I know where they are. <laughs> so, and that's okay. Um, so anyway, these are mostly going to be super simple like this right here. Couple of, um, embellishments, some paper layers, a label or a tag. They're not all going to have tape titles. Um, it really is just a way for my mom to have these pictures. So this is not going to be uber detailed. I will be creating other layouts this month with old stash trying to get it used up. And so, um, but this is just some of the smaller ways that I thought I would use up some layouts. I am going to add a flare from the flare hut and I pull out my box and I should have left it on camera for you all to see the amazing stash that I have acquired from Adam across the pond because it makes me so happy when I pull out my flare box and it takes me time to go through it because it's so full of fabulousness. Um, I picked this one because I really wanted some orange. There's not a lot of orange in this layout, but in the word, let's get away, it's there. Um, and so I thought that I would try and find that. So I grabbed this twine. I have a whole roll of twine. And so I use my Nuvo Deluxe to kind of loop that around. And then I'm going to put that um, orange flare that's upside down with some um, fun foam from Walmart. Um, so I'm going to put that in here and just kind of wrap that twine around it. And then I'm gonna leave the twine kind of hanging down because I think that looks neat and I like it. So like I said, these are gonna be pretty simplistic layouts, nothing crazy. I am using a little mixed media and things of that nature, but not a whole lot. Here is the close up of the layout. I did take a pin and outline the two chef's hats. Um, and that is about it. So I hope you all will come on this journey with me. Like I said, there will be multiple layouts through the month. Um, there are 14, including these two, um, for this book. And then I will be creating some other layouts as well, especially for Stash Dive Tuesday, because I am definitely diving into my stash. So I hope you'll join me on my journey. Have a great day and happy scrapping.